Morning Devotion with Father C.K. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thursday of week 3 of Easter. We continue to read John's 60th chapter about Jesus as the bread of life. Today's passage, taken from verses 44 to 51, largely repeats what has been said already, but at the end, a new element is introduced. Jesus reminds us that it is not we who fight Jesus, but rather it is the Father who fights us and leads us to Jesus as the way to God. Here, Jesus quotes from the Old Testament, Isaiah 54 verse 13, They shall all be taught by God. These words are found in Isaiah 54 verse 13 and reminiscent of Jeremiah 31 verses 33 and 34, I will place my law within them and write it upon their hearts. We see a lovely instance of that in the first reading today about the eunuch who was led to Jesus by Philip the deacon. What was important here was the readiness and openness of the eunuch to be drawn to the truth. Jesus again repeats that he is the bread of life, using that formal expression, I am, which points to divine origin. Unlike the manna that the Jews' ancestors ate in the desert, this bread comes directly from God, and whoever eats it will live forever. Jesus' charges were asking for a sign like manna, but Jesus says that it did not give real life. Those who ate it have already died. The bread that Jesus will give will bring a never-ending life to those who eat it. Jesus is the living bread because he is the very word of God and because he offers up his body and blood in a sacrifice of love, bringing life to the whole world. And this bread is his flesh, life-giving flesh. This flesh will be given for the life of the world, a looking forward to Calvary. Giving eternal life will cost the human life of the giver. With these words, the chapter moves into its Eucharistic meaning. The word flesh introduces the link between Eucharist and Incarnation. Jesus is the Word made flesh, and that Word is the food that we all need to eat. To eat here, while involving actual eating and drinking, really points to the total assimilation into oneself and into a gathered community of the very Spirit of Jesus. The Eucharist, as we shall see tomorrow, is the great sign of the Christian community by which we both affirm and celebrate our union with Jesus. By our eating of the bread that is flesh, we affirm our total adhesion to all that Jesus is and to all that Jesus stands for. Thank you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, 
the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We continue tomorrow with chapter 6. Do have a blessed day.